Hello, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com and the US Tech Channel. On the left, I have the HTC Droid DNA on Verizon. In the center, I have the Samsung Galaxy S3 on Cricket Wireless. And on the right, I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 on AT&T. These devices have various uh, software installed on them already, but every one of them's uh, undergone a re reboot. And they're in airplane mode, so they shouldn't get pushed any notifications. I believe the uh, Cricut version of the uh, S3 here has the least amount of software uh, put on it, uh, followed by the Droid DNA, and the most uh, software right now is on the Note 2 because I, I'm using this one daily. I just uh, reset, uh, unlocked the bootloader on the DNA, so I had to wipe it completely. Of course, benchmarks aren't the only indicator of everyday performance, but a lot of people like to see benchmarks, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, run them and we'll start with Quadrant. This is something I should have done on these devices a uh, long time ago. Uh, the Droid DNA is running uh, HTC uh, Sense, um, normal stock ROM. The Cricut Wireless version is running a, the stock ROM as well. It's the only device on Ice Cream Sandwich here. And the Note 2 is on Jelly Bean. Uh, TouchWiz interface stock as well so the Galaxy S3 was definitely not a slouch uh, ever but after the Note 2 came out and then the uh, DNA I have found devices that seem to perform a lot better let's wait for the S3 to finish up So we'll just talk about overall scores, and the winner here is the HTC uh, Droid DNA, an overall score of 8,005. And then we have the Note 2, 6,748, and the S3 with 5,110. And again, the S3 probably has the least amount of software on it right now. If you hold down the home button on the DNA, you get the Google Now. Next, we'll run Linpack. And we'll run multi-thread as these are all dual or quad-core devices. This is a quad-core device. This is a quad-core device, dual-core right here. We'll just keep on running until we get a consistent result. In the lead was the Droid DNA. Uh, 427.004, and then the S3, 201.273, and then the Note 2 with 130.851. Let's go ahead and run it one more time. We get 585.648 with a time of 0.29 seconds, 217.916 with a time of 0.77 seconds, and 145.402 with a time of 1.16 seconds. And the last thing we'll run is Nina Mark II. graphics benchmark. Of course these are or some of these devices are run at different resolutions. I'll announce the specifications real quick. So the Note 2 is run 1280 by 720. The S3 is also run 1280 by 720. This has the Mali 400 MP uh, renderer and uh, this is as the Adreno 225 and the Droid DNA is run at 1920 by 1080 it has the Adreno 320 so since the DNA is run in 1080 it's going to have to process a lot more than these other two devices the Droid DNA has a Verizon uh, screen cover. These other two devices, or this device does not have a screen cover or screen protector, and the Note 2 has a Zag Invisible Shield. So the DNA, like I said, did have to render more, had a score of 59.1 frames per second. 
S3 had 59.9 frames per second, and the Note 2 had 58 frames per second. So for more information on these devices, Cricut Wireless and more, please like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and visit my forum at cricutusers.com. Thank you.